Hi, I'm Scott, and today we're going to use this tool for these things on Dat It Yourself. Hey, so I have the Ryobi JM83K biscuit joiner. This is a plug in tool, it is not offered in cordless. Um, it's used for joining boards. If you see, I have a set of boards right here that I'm going to be joining to get a flat face uh, to build a panel for a box. Uh, let's go ahead and open this thing up and see what's inside. Uh, while I'm opening this up, I picked this up at the Home Depot. It was $119. Uh, I really wish it did come in the 18 volt, but I understand that not everything can be cordless and perfect. Nice bag. It'll be logo there. What's that? A little plastic. Okay. Dust bag. Instructions. Comes with, well, that's probably about two dozen or so of the biscuits. Nice cord. That is probably wow, at least six feet, which is nice. You got to have a cord. At least you could do is have a long cord, right? So take that out. You can open the bag. Nope, that's it. Set that bag aside. There it is. It's uh, very ergonomical. It feels really good like that. And there's your blade. Let's see if I can show that to you. See how that comes out like that? Looks like a little saw blade. And then, let's see what we got here. I'll loosen that. And then, ooh, that's nice. Nice machined angle. So 45s. Up and down. That's really nice. I like that. Yep. So what you do is you set your height of your lumber. For me, I'll be setting it at three quarters. So we'll just move it up to three quarters. Half. There's three quarters right there. Tighten that down. this forward just so you get an idea. You can see that. Yep. So it sits right on that. Well, that's not three quarters though. Let's crank that down. There it is right there. It's probably going to say three eighths, isn't it? It is. So it's halfway. Okay. Nice. All right. The dust bag on it. I don't know how that goes on there. It looks kind of like in a weird spot. Like that. No? Like that. There we go. What do you guys think? Think that looks okay? I'll plug it in and give it a go. Maybe a little hard to see, but I have little reference marks matching up the boards on where I have to cut the biscuits in. It's just a matter of lining up the center. Right there. Power. Yeah. 
Here you go. Where do those biscuits go? Blue. Put the biscuit right in there. Nice even top aligned. Now I'm going to glue these together, tight bond three, and some biscuits. Let's go. Off camera, I took the panel out of the clamps. Came out really nice. Have a little bit of a ridge here and here, and then right about here on this side. But this side is nice. I give this a little love with the belt sander and the orbital sander to get it nice and smooth, and then we'll size it on the table saw and get it ready for stain. So, what do I think about this biscuit joiner? I love it. For the price point of $119, you can't go wrong. The next nearest competitor, the DeWalt, is $60 more, the Makita is $80 more, and they keep going up and up and up, all the way to the Labella, which is $1,200. You could buy 10 of these for that price. Yes, it has a lot more functionality, but for 90% of us, this tool for this price is gonna do exactly what we need. If you have any questions, suggestions, or comments, put those down below. Speaking of comments, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you do, hit the bell for notifications. I've got some videos over here you may be interested in. Subscribe button's right there. Thanks for watching. Doubt it yourself.